Hi, this is Doug Hudeberg. I have a uh, a little tip I want to share with you. I'll give you a quick little bit of background. I run a publication called DailyMarketingAce.com, and I've had this blog for quite a while. This is really a an email publication. I mean, the intent behind this in my marketing is to be able to share these short little uh, marketing tips with my subscribers, but also to build an email list. Um, I did about um, almost a well over a year experiment using the blog as well, which was posting the the email content to the blog. The intent was to um, get uh, people to my subscribers to be able to interact and and become more you know make more of an interactive publication as well as to drive some search engine juice. Well, you know, the publication has a decent uh, page rank and we get some traffic through the search engines, but these little short tips in all these variety of, of different uh, keywords uh, is not doing it on its own as sort of an autopilot thing. So in order to get some search juice, I would really have to put some effort into it. And since the primary purpose is to be an email publication, I'm not really interested in doing that. Actually what I'm interested in doing is streamlining this publication so I can focus more on content less on the publishing side. Also as you can see uh, comments are pretty limited. I don't get a lot of traffic to the blog. I also don't get a lot of comments. You know, The tips are kind of a broadcast, a one-way thing. Um, yeah they can spur um, conversation but every tip links to someone else's blog or some other place where people can follow. So. Um, I've decided that I want to eliminate this because there's a lot of work that goes into making sure that these tips get published correctly and on time uh, to the blog. So that brings me to a little feature that I found in Google Groups. Um, I still want to have an archive for Daily Marketing Ace online, even if it's only for me, um, but <clears throat> I probably will at some point bring it back to trying to build more of a community around it and allowing people to interact and ask questions and share other tips and things like that. Um, in my pursuit of that I was exploring Google Groups. I set up this group, you can see I'm the only member. Uh, it's just an experiment, but I found that I can have my email autoresponder post into this Google group and automatically create an archive on autopilot. So it's kind of what I was looking for and this is my first uh, first test. This is just an email that went out today, or actually yesterday, and it was um, published automatically to the group just as, as the email. So I think there's a lot of possibilities here with uh, for internet marketers, people that use a lot of email. Even if you just want to be able to archive your own stuff into one place so that you can keep a record of it, that's uh, that's probably useful in and of itself, but you can also use it to uh, build communities and um, and some other things that I'll point out. But let me show you how to do it. If you want to do this, you go into Google Groups, create a group, it's free of course, and then you go, because you're the group uh, owner, you can go into um, Group Settings, and then you can go into Advanced. And I've got the screen kind of squeezed down, it's usually on the right, but go click on this Advanced link scroll down you'll see this use Google Groups to manage a remote archive so Google Groups can act as a remote archive for your mailing list host it on other services and you can read more about it but all you need to do is check this box put the from address for your email publication uh, that's in your autoresponder what's the from address you want to put that in this field and then it's going to give you this email address which you can copy and go over to your autoresponder and manually subscribe this email address to your list uh, that you want to archive. And that's all you need to do. That means your autoresponder is going to send an email to this address and it's going to get archived to your Google group. And then you click Save Changes. One other cool thing that I think will become very useful is if you go to the home page you'll notice that there's an RSS feed for your group. So you can use that in multiple different ways and I could even use that to automate this blog posting. I could take the RSS feed, use a plugin for WordPress, and automatically post the feed content. I'm probably not going to do that, but it's nice to know it's there and probably can be used in a bunch of different ways. So since I found that little tip, did my test and it works, I wanted to share that with you and I hope it's helpful. Thank you. Bye-bye.